Hello, and welcome to my channel. I am Ina, and I do art stuff and things. And for the next few videos, I'm going to play around with um, the intro, and then choose one and do it properly. But in this video, I am going to show you how to paint these clouds, because, well, for once, someone asked me to. <laughs> Let's go. You will need watercolor paper some paints. I'm using indigo and an assortment of bright colors. Some brushes. I'm using a flat wash brush and a couple of round brushes. You will also need white opaque ink or paint um, gouache or acrylic for example, um, as well as water, a container for your wash and uh, some paper. I have uh, some Toilet paper chewed by a dog here. Some optional materials are a spritzer bottle, a paper towel, a tape, a toothbrush, and a hot beverage. It would be kind of awesome if at this point you liked and subscribed if you haven't already. Thanks. So what we're going to do is tape up the paper because I like borders. It's an optional step, but you might want to spritz up your um, paints to loosen them up. Next, we will cover the whole page with water, just clear water um, and get it nice and glistening. Then we'll mix up quite a lot of pigment for uh, the main dark indigo wash. Um, I don't add a lot of water here because I want very deep saturation of colour, just like this. Whilst the page is still wet, you want to add your bright colours. Whatever you want. I'm going with some aqua rose, some um, yellow, and um, some turquoise. I went very heavy with the indigo pigment, so uh, my water container got muddied up straight away. To avoid that happening for you, just um, have two, sometimes three, or have a very large one or just don't go crazy, like I did with all the uh, dark pigment. Now that our page is full of colour, but still wet, we're gonna grab some paper. And you guessed it, we're just gonna dab some clouds right in there. Once you're satisfied with your cloud formation, just add some more pigment in between the clouds to um, make them pop a bit more. All you gotta do is just dab because these areas are still wet so the uh, pigment will just disperse on its own accord um, and um, stay within the lines. At this point you probably would want to blend out the bottom of the clouds. It's a step I missed out on here, um, but you'll see how I try to um, fix it later on. Now, I'm also adding some more clouds in the background. They are in the distance, so that's why they're a bit darker and uh, less defined. You probably could just stop here, but where's the fun? So what I'm going to do is define the um, edges of clouds with opaque white paint and then blend it out a bit more. And then you want to bring some colour into your clouds. Uh, just be mindful of where your different coloured spots of the base um, layer were and kind of try and follow that so it looks like maybe reflections. Um, I also add metallic gold because, well, I love metallics and I'm going to be adding them into every piece of art I ever create from now on. And now uh, that's where I'm trying to fix these really sharp um, bottom edges of clouds uh, that I should have done earlier on whilst the paint was dry to begin with. Uh, and now we will be left with a bit of a hard edge, but it still looks good, I think, in the end. 
you can spend a long time working on details of a painting like this. I didn't in this case because I was filming. It took me roughly half an hour to do the whole thing. Um, but um, imagine what you could do if you took longer. I'm putting some white back in because um, I feel it washed out a bit when I was um, fixing my error. Obviously, if you did not do the error to begin with, you probably wouldn't need the step. Once the cloud edges were re-established, I um, blended out the inside edges of um, the white paint, just to make it a little bit more realistic. Another optional step, but I felt it needed something extra, like a bit of galactic wind um, and movement created, so um, I did these lines and then smoothed them out with some water. Once everything is dry, we're going to add some stars. And there's a number of ways you can do that. You can dot your stars one by one with a point of a brush, but come on, no one's gonna do that. Uh, you can use a toothbrush, which is a, a very easy and quick way of doing this, but it's very uniform and kind of boring. So you can also load up your big brush with a lot of white pigment and hit it against uh, another brush. That will create kind of directional clusters of stars. So obviously there's just too many on this painting now because I was showing you a number, but uh, there is a lot of stars out there. You can also then manually add some bigger stars just, you know, for interest. And then I used a bit of gold paint because, you know, I've mentioned about me and gold and added a little sort of comedy things just to make it look like there's um, a lot of stuff going on out there in the, the open space of the galaxy. Now, my favorite part of any painting is removing the tape. It's pretty much why I do any painting full stop. It is pretty satisfying to do and to watch. Let me know if you ever try following this tutorial and tag me in your paintings. I'd love to see them. I guess that's all from me for this time. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.